In this lesson, we'll create a football game, looking at more complex ways of storing and using object properties. By the end, we'll have a game where you score points for each goal, but you'll have to beat a very unpredictable goalkeeper. To begin with, our ball will need some friction to behave realistically in the grass. And this time, we'll get the speed for the ball from the pointer's speed. The ball will move with the same speed that we use when we drag the pointer. We'll use a variable to display the drag speed, so we can see it change with each flick of the pointer. To be able to aim and shoot in different directions, we'll also get the ball's heading from the pointer's heading. We'll use the start event to store the starting position of the ball, and then program hit events to make the ball stop and move back to the start position when it goes in goal. And we'll add a keeper. When the ball hits the keeper, it needs to bounce back and head in a straight line away from goal. Then we'll program a scoring system to check how many times we manage to beat the keeper and put the ball in the net. But we need to give the keeper a chance to defend his goal. Using random changes to his Y position, we can make him move along the goal line with unpredictable motion, creating a real challenge for players. Can you beat the keeper?